Today we're here at Whitby on the Yorkshire coast. Now Whitby has a fantastic pier. As you can see, it stretches far out into the North Sea. What we're going to do today is we've got quite flat grey light. So normal photography isn't really appealing to me. What I want to do is work with some of these shapes and textures and structures that are in front of us to create something a little bit different. For this, we're going to be looking at long exposure photography using the leaf filter system. So let's get down there. on the Yorkshire coast. What we're going to do is look at the leaf filter system to make a long exposure image. Now we have got, as you can see behind in the distance, we've got quite a flat grey sky but it's quite bright. The sea certainly looking the other way which is where we're going to be shooting is quite dark. So we're going to need to be using one of these things as well as the leaving stopper. This is an ND grad. You can see it's darker at the top and it's clearer at the bottom. This will control the difference in brightness between the sky and the land. So we're going to be placing one of those uh, on the camera, setting the camera before we actually then put the stopper in place. And you can see the stopper's quite a dark piece of glass. This stops light getting into the camera. It takes an awful long time to make the same image. So something like a 50th of a second could become something like five minutes if you put the super stopper on. So we're going to go and set up and we're going to pop these things in place and we're going to see if we can make an interesting shot on what's a pretty flat grey kind of sky day. Okay, so here we are, this is our chosen location. As you can see in the background, we've got Whitby's West and East Pier coming together in the middle of the sea. You can see the quite grey conditions that we've got. The water is helping, it's quite high tide now so the white horses have finally stopped which means that we shouldn't get a massive white in the foreground with a long exposure. And this should produce quite an interest, interesting result. The sky, each day will give you a different result. Today, this is the sky we've got. So in order to make something kind of exciting, a little bit arty, we're going to go for a really long exposure by using the leaf filter super stopper. We've had a look at the scene and we've set up for a normal shot, which we're going to show you shortly. The key thing with the stoppers, they're quite dark. So it's important to set your shot up first, set your focus distance, because once you put this on, the camera might struggle to focus and see. So if you leave autofocus active, you could get a situation where the camera continues to hunt and it's not actually going to achieve focus and therefore not be able to make a photograph. Okay, so here's the scene that we had before us. It's a scene that's absolutely devoid of any contrast. Really flat grey light dominates. The sea is pretty unimpressive, totally uninspirational. The sky, there's not even any sort of whites and blacks that we can play with, nothing to inspire us really. The only thing we've got are those two piers. Hopefully by using the super stopper, we're gonna see the sea and the sky flatten out, smooth, with the sky having some smears of color in. When this is converted to a monochrome image, we're hoping to get a really striking result. So the stopper, they're supplied in these handy tins that protect them. Inside this one, we've got the Lee Super Stopper. It's extremely dark. You'll see that on the inside is a foam uh, insert. This is critical. It's very important not to get light into the chamber while we're making the picture. So we're going to put the foam insert on the very front slot of the filter holder. This will back up to the plate of that filter holder and stop any light getting into the camera. The other filter will already be in place. So I'm going to get back in position set the shot up and then this is going to go in at the very end just before I make the picture. And it's just going to slide in. Like that down from the back of the camera. So let's give it a go. You'll notice on this image we've also teamed up the big stopper with one of Lee's ND grad filters. The ND grad filter we placed initially when we did the initial setup with the focusing and everything. This filter just balances the brightness in the sky with the darker sea. Now if you want to have a go with these filters, we have three sets that we lend out on all our photography courses, either the one day courses in York or the residential courses in Lake District, Yorkshire Coast or the European ones, Venice, Rome and Prague. So if you fancy having a go, get in touch, chat about your equipment and get you set up with some filters. Okay, so here's the finished result. I'm sure you'll agree this is absolutely 
different in every way from the picture that we looked at earlier. The super stopper with its long exposure, in this case around about five minutes, has really flattened the water. The way a stopper works, it, obviously the, the same image is overwritten time after time, second after second, so eventually it kind of works out some kind of average, everything's recorded at a certain level, and with, with moving water this normally gives quite a flat result. The sky, anything that's moving in there will be recorded as smears, so in our shot the sky's moving away from us, and we've got these little darker areas which during the monochrome conversion we've just darkened down a little bit to add a bit of life, a bit of contrast. The piers now stand proud. The piers are clearly the main focus of interest in this picture. They're our subject matter and they look fantastic just reaching out leading towards that brighter bit of sky. Without the Lee Super Stopper we couldn't have made this picture and this is why I use them. This is the flexibility they give me they give me the chance to be artistic when really conditions might not be ideal.